Alright, what's going on you guys? This is Tom, and I'm bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay today, and I really did feel like doing a commentary. I mean, today is the 15th of May, and it's one day after my first exam, and I've got to be over rest day today, and then tomorrow it's back and going back to exams. But it doesn't really matter, I just felt like uploading a gameplay, because there's an important topic I want to talk about today. Well, not really important, but something that a lot of people have talked about, and I think I really should too. Uh, it's a Black Ops 2 trailer, but first off, this is a bit of a different gameplay. This is a hardcore domination game on Dome. On Dome, of course. The great map, which is actually pretty damn shit. Anyway, I'm using the MP9 machine pistol, and I'll quickly talk about hardcore domination. Basically, you have no health whatsoever. Uh, actually, that's equivalent to about 30 health, but uh, I'm running the UAV ballistic vest like a team player, which gives me a lot of extra health, which helps a lot. So, I'm just going to start off by saying tips for hardcore domination use this gun, use this setup, use these kill streaks. Uh, as for your perks, you want sleight of hand, blast shield, and something else. I use sit rep because I need sit rep all the time. And I use the striker actually, but the striker is freaking useless. I mean, I just it's just a hit marker machine, so I don't really use it too much. Uh, but that's it for hardcore domination. And um, it was actually um, what was it? Was it requested or I think it was suggested by one of you guys. Smart card commentaries. I know he does a lot of hardcore domination over on his channel. And uh, so thank you very much, dude. I really do love hardcore domination. I will talk a bit more about that in a future video. But first off. Or second off, I don't even what I've been talking about. Um, yeah, so Black Ops 2 trailer, guys. Um, I don't particularly care. <laughs> I'll, I'll start off by saying that. Um, and the second thing I want to say is, I laughed so hard. I had so such a good time reading the comments on that video. And <laughs> just, it was so fun. I mean, the amount of stuff like, you know, play Battlefield 3, that's a real game, I saw it was just so funny. I mean, there's one particular comment which got me really uh, entertained, let's put it that way. He was talking about how he has played Call of Duty Black Ops 2 in his dreams and he was desperate for it to be amazing and he has his suspicions about the game and second off his grammar was absolutely horrendous so I'm guessing it was some kind of guy who's dropped out of school and spent his entire life playing Call of Duty. Which is fair enough but it was still pretty amusing to read those comments so uh, thank you dude uh, I appreciate it. Uh, but anyway uh, my thoughts really is the Black Ops 2 reveal trailer is for the fucking campaign it's not for multiplayer I mean it makes me cry to see all these larger channels I mean fair enough to the larger channels I mean I would much rather that larger channels post um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 information because those are the people, because those are the people who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and they're going to be able be able to inform like those hundreds of thousands of people about the game, and that's exactly how it should be. I mean, people like me shouldn't really be doing, uh, re you know, leaked information things like that, because there's not really much point. I can always say, you know, go watch Woody's Gamer Tag or go watch White Boy Seventh Street, and yeah, you'll get all the info you need. So that's not what my channel's here for. I mean, I did say earlier that I was going to be talking a bit more about Black Ops 2 and you know all about the so-called leaked information, but no, no, I'm not doing that, guys. And uh, I go on a tear right here. I'm getting triple fees left and right. I actually get a beautiful montage clip near the end of the game. I mean, that's not what my channel's for, guys. Uh, I'm not going to be releasing Black Ops 2 information unless I really feel like it. Like I really say to myself, okay, this is, looks really interesting. And right here, I couldn't. For some reason, I couldn't pick up those ballistic vests. I'm not entirely sure why, but it was my fault for putting it in a pretty obscure corner uh but yeah so it's for the campaign guys and i'm just gonna say that i really did enjoy it um i basically went to it looking for entertainment value not for information about the multiplayer i just wanted to see what it would be like and uh, i thought it was interesting that woods is back uh i thought he jumped to a massive fireball and got destroyed but turns out he's still alive that's cool and what i really did like about it is that they're branching out um and i really respect that now trek has always been known to make better games and better by better games I mean more balanced games and more taking into what the community wants to see. I mean if you I follow Cherok's Twitter and their Facebook and they're just they seem like such cool guys. I mean they're just like yeah here's some free zombie maps codes and we're gonna be hosting open lobbies and some double firing range XP and what was it? Twenty four seven firing range. That was awesome. I mean that just shows that they're still interested in the game and they've got double XP over there and things like that. What have you got on Modern Warfare 2? you got, you know, infinite noob tubes, you got hacks. I mean, when have you ever seen a hack on Black Ops? I've never seen a single freaking hack on Black Ops in my entire life. So that's really my take on it. And I'm glad they're branching out. And uh, when it comes to horses now, I don't really understand that. I know one of these guys, well, a few people have said, yeah, I want to see horses in Red Dead Redemption and not Call of Duty. However, I just think it's fun because uh, it just shows they're branching out. And remember, campaigns, I always look for a variety in campaigns. Now, I did not enjoy the Modern Warfare 3 campaign at all. And the reason that was is because it was so repetitive. I mean, yes, it was based in different countries and things, but the story was so obvious. I mean, it's just fine macro of them chasing around 20,000 different countries. And it was basically go in there, slaughter people, and go out, and then go to the next place, slaughter people, and go out. And check this bit out. This is beast. They get like a five-man feed here sit down second chance. I think I go in here and annihilate a couple more people and then die. 
Um, yeah, that's what I like to see. I like to see a lot of variety, and I know, I know a lot of people have said it looks like Halo. Um, but guys, listen, if uh, if a game is set 13 years in the future, that means the technology is going to be more advanced, and it also means that there's going to be more futuristic stuff in it. I mean, a futuristic game will have futuristic stuff. Does it make sense? I hope so. I mean, Halo was set like thousands of years in the future, and I mean, that's just a whole different game altogether. So uh, there's no point, you know, looking for that those kind of com com comparisons. Um, I did like the characters as well. I think we saw a, a guy who looks a lot like Woods or Mason, or I, I don't know the Black Ops uh, campaign all too much. Although I did enjoy it quite a lot. However, I will say that the characters do look pretty badass. <laughs> I know none of them talked or anything, and you know some of the futuristic stuff is pretty damn cool actually. I mean, I'm looking forward to it quite a lot. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a bit weird that there's horses and shit, but, you know, as I said before, variety is best, and it's all about the campaign, it's not about multiplayer. I mean, don't go speculating on, like, oh, there's horses in the campaign, you know, it's gonna be a horse killstreak where you, uh, where you call in a bunch of horses and they go eat people. I mean, <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't really make sense, does it? So, uh, guys, I'll just leave you on this. Wait till the game comes out, or wait till the multiplayer trailer drops. Look, it's freaking May right now, and there's still four, five, six months of, uh, I, I can't count, but it's quite a long time till the game comes out, and I don't care about any information. I just want to pick up a new game called Black Ops 2 and figure it out myself. Just enjoy all the new stuff that it has, and as you can see, they call it an escort airdrop, and that's where it all goes downhill. So I kind of cut out the last bit, but that's pretty much the end of the gameplay. Final score was 48 and something, I believe. Hope you did enjoy the gameplay, guys. Please leave a thumbs up and leave all your thoughts on Black Ops 2 trailer down below in the comments. I really appreciate all the feedback I get. I read all the comments, reply to all the comments, so go and do all of that. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave you on uh, what I said before. Just wait till the game comes out, guys. I just want to play a fresh game and enjoy it for that. Not, I don't want to be looking for leaked information because it's just going to ruin the game for me, in my opinion, anyway. So guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.